The East Midlands LV County Championship Derby in Derby was drawn following a delayed declaration from Leicestershire's Ramnaresh Sarwan and another heavy downpour on the final day. Visitors Leicestershire resumed on 76 for one in their second innings with a lead of 220, but they showed no signs of forcing the pace with some quick runs, Matt Boyce taking half an hour to get the seven runs he needed for his 50. Indeed, only 45 runs were added in the first hour, and then Leicestershire lost Jacques de Toy, who edged John Clare behind to go for 48 at 121 for two in the 48th over. That dismissal did lead to a change of tempo, however. Sarwan himself came out to play his shots. Backing away to Clare, he struck his first boundary off his second ball before he deposited David Wainwright over mid-wicket for a six. Quite why Leicestershire took so long to push on, only they will know, but Sarwan was making up for it now with some one-day shots. Boyce had been at the crease in excess of three hours in making his 65. In trying to increase his rate, he gave Wainwright a catch of his own bowling. And Sarwan sacrificed his own wicket in the next over by throwing everything, including the kitchen sink, at a ball from Mark Footit to be caught by Mott and Guptill. Sarwan had made 24 off 17. After an hour and a half, the declaration finally came with Leicestershire on 169 for four, and that set Derbyshire a target of 314 to be made in a minimum of 69 overs. Guptill soon looked in the mood to go for it, as he soon took on Robbie Joseph. The last the rain then ensured that whatever Derbyshire did, they couldn't possibly win. Not that anyone had told Guptill that. He made the most of a couple of looseness from Claude Henderson. The New Zealander has started this season in very good touch and another thumping cut shot took into his 50, made from just 62 balls and innings including six fours and a six. Watching Guptill play shots such as this, it was a real shame that the rain had intervened when it did. It also backed up Sarwan's decision not to be over generous with his declaration. At least Wayne White showed Leicestershire's fight right to the last. This was the final ball of the match, which ended with Derbyshire on 91 without loss, Guptill helping himself to 67 of them. Both sides then remain unbeaten with Derbyshire staying at the top of the second division table. They took six points to Leicestershire's nine. Derbyshire now have the next round off, while Leicestershire travels south to take on Hampshire.